Looking for an alternative to Flipper Zero? Here are the items that has the same functionality. The most obvious choice when it comes to bad USB is the Hack 5 rubber ducky. But at a fraction of a cost and a much more easier way to acquire is the WHID Wi Fi Cactus. This costs around $15, which is way cheaper. And the nice thing about it is that you can use the same ducky scripts to run it. It has its own Wi Fi access where you can connect to it using any browsers and send commands. Check out the video that I shared above for a demonstration of it. Proxmark is a more specialized tool for RFID. Yes, it can clone and emulate RFID which you can check out the video above, but where it beats out the flipper zero is Proxmark can provide an analysis of the card or the tag. By having this, you can study the data plot, bit streams, modulation, and all of this knowledge will help you know more about RFID technology. It is important to know that there are multiple Proxmark hardware through the years and some of them are obsolete, like the Proxmark 3EC, and they are cheaply available in stores like AliExpress. HackRF is a wideband software-defined radio, and all of the subgigahertz functionality of Flipper Zero can be done on it. It can also have an add-on called PortaPack, which makes the HackRF more portable. The main advantage of HackRF is that the frequency range go up to 6 GHz and it can reach ranges that the Flipper Zero cannot like plane signals, bolt signals, GPS. The original one will cost you around $350 and the advantage of it is that the signals are more powerful as you move up the frequency. But you can get one with the porta pack already and the antennas that you would need for around $150 on AliExpress. These clones, most of the time, will use updated parts since the schematics of HackRF is open source. And for educational purposes, the power of those signals is good enough. I have some videos of it where I try out different functionalities on this channel and check the link up above. Wi-Fi adapters with monitor mode can do all of the functionality that the Flipper Zero's Wi-Fi dev board flash with Marauder firmware can. All of the Alpha and Panda wireless adapter would have monitor mode and there are tools in Linux that helps you with wireless attacks and a good place to start with it is Aircrack NG, Kismet, and Wi-Fi. Before Flipper Zero, this is my go-to all-in-one hacking device. This is a port of Kali Linux to a mobile phone and all of the previous functionality I mentioned before can be done using the Kali Net Hunter phone. For example, bad USB can be done using the Rocky app, RFID via the Walrus app, and a Proxmark attached to it via OTG. RF hacking can be done using RTLSDR and its tools and lastly, there are phones that can do Wi-Fi attack without the need of a Wi-Fi adapter like the Nexus 5. As you can see, there are a lot of alternatives for Flipper Zero's functionality and if you want to learn different technology like HID, RFID, RF or Wi-Fi, you have a lot of options to start with. The only thing that you are missing? is your very own motivation to learn it. Are there any alternatives that you have in mind? Comment it down below. And if you like this video, check out my other videos here on Hakista TV. Till next time, my fellow Hakista.